Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of confusion as to the differences between nofap and semen retention. You know, people tend to use these terms interchangeably, and in some cases they can be the same thing, but they are two different things. And I know that doesn't make sense when I say it like that, but basically they are different, but there are a lot of similarities. So in some situations, they're the same thing. Now, personally, I am on nofap, but technically I'm on semen retention. Now, what I mean by that is that I am on nofap, okay? I consider myself to be on nofap. I don't consider myself to be on semen retention. However, it just so happens that I'm also a virgin. Therefore, I am on semen retention by default. But when I do have sex, I'm not going to count that as a relapse. I probably will make a video titled, I relapsed, but if you see that video, just know it doesn't mean that I relapsed on nofap. It means that I relapsed on semen retention. Nofap is a lifestyle for me now. Semen retention is not. It is simply a byproduct of the lifestyle that I'm already living. Now, with that being said, let me explain to you guys some of the differences between the two. Because like I said, there are some differences, some very notable differences at that. Nofap is when you stop watching porn. Okay, that is the first thing. Stop watching porn. You also stop masturbating. Okay, you stop beating your meat. But you can still have sex. Okay, you can still have sex on nofap, but you can't beat your meat. That is what I consider myself to be on. Okay, I am not avoiding sex by any means at all. And I'll explain why later on in the video. Now, semen retention, on the other hand, that is when you do not release at all. Aside from wet dreams. Okay, you're not consciously releasing. So that means no beating your meat, no sex, none of that. You just have to hold on to your seed, retain your seed. That is what semen retention is all about. And like I said, I'm technically on semen retention because I'm on nofap and I'm also a virgin. So I am on semen retention, but I'm on nofap. And I'll continue to title my videos as nofap. For one, because like I said, I'm not on semen retention. And two, because I'm not trying to get demonetized. So anyways, like I said, they are different, but they do have some overlaps. So let me go ahead and get into some of the benefits of each individual path. So for nofap, the first thing that you'll notice is that you'll have more confidence in yourself. And for different people, it may take different amounts of time for this to happen. But generally speaking, this is something that everyone should experience, especially those who are heavily addicted to PMO. So the reason why your confidence will go up when you do nofap is because you're breaking a habit, you're breaking an addiction, okay? And the way we are wired, when you beat an addiction, when you overcome an addiction, that's going to raise your confidence levels. It doesn't matter what that addiction is. It can be an addiction to social media, an addiction to smoking, drinking, or PMO, whatever it is. Overcoming an addiction will change the way that you view yourself. It'll change your internal perception of yourself. And it may be a gradual process. You may not notice this, you know, in the first 5, 10, 15 days. But over time, when you look back, you'll realize like, man, my perception of myself is a lot different now. I see myself in a much higher light. And I regard myself as, you know, a better person now. And that confidence will go a long way. Like I've said before, confidence is everything. If you don't have confidence, you won't make it very far in life in any aspect. Whether you want to get women, whether you want to get money, no matter what it is, you have to be confident to pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue. Otherwise, you're just going to be settling for everyone else's leftovers. And I'm sure you don't want to do that or you wouldn't be watching this video. And speaking of women, nofap will make you better with women. It'll make you better at talking to women. And it's not so much a direct effect of nofap, it's more of an indirect effect because of the confidence that you'll gain from doing nofap. So you gotta think about this from a biological perspective. Okay, we as men are here to release. At the end of the day, we're here to release. And when you stop releasing in that way, you're gonna realize mentally that you need a way to release. And I'm not saying that, you know, you have to go out and just look for women to hook up with. You know, I don't believe in hookup culture, personally. That's me. Like I said, I'm a virgin. At the same time, I recognize that nofap has changed the way that I look at women, and it has definitely increased my confidence in talking to women. And the reason why is because, like I said, your mind and your body 
recognize that you need to release, you know, and if you're not going to do it that way, that means you have to find a girl. And like I said, you don't have to go out and find a girl and actually do it. That's what semen retention is for. But if you are trying to get a girl, doing NoFap will definitely help you because it's going to give you that extra push to go out and find yourself a girl. Now, the next way that NoFap can really help you out is with your discipline levels. Okay, discipline is a very, very important ingredient to success in any aspect, just like confidence. You know, a person that is confident in himself or herself and is also disciplined to, you know, take inspired action each and every day towards their bigger goals in life, that's a person who is going to do great things. Having the discipline to overcome an addiction and to stop doing the one thing that your body wants you to do every day, that's not something that anyone can just do. You know, not everyone can do nofap. I mean, everyone can do it, but not everyone is willing to do it. So you have to understand that having the discipline to avoid doing the one thing that your body wants you to do, that's going to increase your discipline tenfold. And it's going to carry over to other aspects of your life. You know, ever since I've started NoFap or semen retention, I've been uploading like five videos a week almost for basically the past four months that I've been on it. And the reason why is because I just have that discipline. It carries over. You know, I'm on top of my game. And for me, a lazy day now is the equivalent of my most productive day before I started NoFap. So, you know, there's levels to it and I'm leveling up. Now notice, none of these things are superpowers. You know, these are not superpowers. This isn't some magical potion. This is just simple logic. It's just basic common sense. Now, those are some of the main benefits for NoFap. Now I'll cover some of the main benefits for semen retention. Okay, and like I said, there is some overlap, but they're not the exact same. So the first thing that you should notice when you're on semen retention is that you will have an excess of energy. Okay, you will have a whole lot of extra energy and you won't know what to do with it at first. If you don't have something that you're working towards while you're on semen retention, you're going to drive yourself crazy. You're going to have a lot of like restless nights where you can't sleep because you have all this pent up energy and you don't know what to do with it. So this is why it's very important for you to, you know, get in the gym, get on your purpose, do something, just do something with that energy, something productive. This is why a lot of fighters tend to do semen retention in the weeks or months leading up to their fights because they get this extra energy, they get this extra boost that will help them in the ring. Now, the next thing that semen retention will do for you is it'll give you more discipline. Now, this goes right along with nofap. You know, when you stop doing the one thing that your body wants you to do, you'll have a vast increase in discipline. However, I would almost go as far as to say that semen retention will give you more discipline than nofap will because now you're just holding on completely. So not only are you avoiding porn, but you're also avoiding women, not all women, but you know, the women that belong to the streets that you know are not good for you. You have to avoid those types of women. You're avoiding hookups, things of that nature. And Doing that is going to give you a lot of discipline. Like I said, these are not superpowers. It's just simple logic. Hold on to your seed, you're gonna have more energy. Now, if you combine that extra energy with the discipline that you gain, this is where great things happen. This is where all of a sudden, things begin to manifest into your life a lot quicker because you have this discipline, you have this energy, and your priorities are straight as well, okay? Having that discipline will also help you set your priorities straight in the sense that you start to put your purpose over women. And this is something that I've talked about in some of my other videos, but put your purpose before women. Never make a woman the central focus of your life. Never make anyone else in general the central focus of your life. You should be the central focus of your life. And from that, you learn more about yourself and you figure out the things that you're passionate about and what you wanna accomplish in life. And you go and do those things with this extra energy. Put this energy towards those things, stay disciplined on it, take inspired action every single day and things will begin to manifest for you. For example, with me, you know, all of a sudden my sub count has gone from like 900 to 7,000 at the time of me filming this video, which, you know, that's a big difference. That is a very big difference for what, four months? I've been on semen retention or nofap for four months and I've basically increased my sub count seven times over. It took me a year to get to 900 
And now I'm at 7,000 four months after that. So, you know, I've put in a lot more work, a lot more effort, and there's no end in sight. You know, I'm, I'm still going at this. I'm still going at this. Like, I still have a lot of extra energy. And that's not to say that I don't get tired and that I don't need a break every now and then because I am still human. You know, like I said, these are not superpowers. Everyone has their limits. But this will definitely help you expand your limits. You know, being on semen retention, your ambition is going to increase by a lot. You're going to start to want that feeling that, you know, releasing provides you. But since you can't get it from that, you have to find it in other areas. You want that gratification. You want that feeling of ultimate satisfaction. And you're going to find other ways to feel that feeling without actually releasing. So now that I've covered some of the benefits of semen retention and nofap, here is why I personally choose to do nofap as opposed to semen retention. The reason why I choose to do nofap is because feeding your meat is not natural. You know, it's as simple as that. It's not a natural thing. It's not what we're here to do. You're not here to beat your meat. You're here to have sex, okay, at the end of the day. Now, like I said, I am a virgin. You know, I am a virgin, so I am on semen retention. However, I don't plan on going my whole life without ever losing my virginity because that's not natural. I don't see how that could be good for your body personally. Now, I've heard people say that you can get prostate cancer from doing semen retention. I'm not too sure about that because you can have wet dreams to, you know, release the excess. I don't really see how that would cause prostate cancer. But nonetheless, I don't think it's natural to go your whole life without ever having sex. You know, I feel like there should be a balance and everyone will have their own balance. I can't tell you what the right balance is because we're all different. But I know for me personally, you know, nofap is a lifestyle. It's not really something that I consciously do anymore. It's just a part of my identity. Like I just don't participate in that activity anymore. However, I'm not on semen retention. You know, it's, it's just a product of the lifestyle that I'm living. But given the chance, if I had the chance right now to have sex with a woman that I'm trying to cultivate a relationship with, I would. You know, why wouldn't I? That's a relationship building tool. Sex is not an inherently bad thing. It's only bad or harmful if you make it that way. If you let it get you off of your purpose. I think actually the biggest killer is porn. I really don't think there's much of a problem with releasing. Like I said, it will give you extra energy if you hold on to your seed, but I don't believe that you're supposed to hold on to it for your whole life. But like I said, I believe porn is the biggest killer. And the reason why is because when you combine porn with releasing, with that feeling of instant gratification, that's where a lot of people become lazy, you know, because people tend to seek that instant gratification as opposed to the long-term gratification of achieving actual goals and working towards their purpose on a day in day out basis you know and i noticed that's probably the biggest change for me since you know starting this journey of nofap or semen retention is that i think more for the long term now my perspective is a whole lot broader i have very very big dreams you know my ambition level is very high and I'm very passionate about what I do. And so that instant gratification doesn't really interest me as much. You know, I'm worried about this YouTube channel. Like this, this right here, this YouTube channel, this is everything for me. Like I am so focused on this. And, you know, you see it with me uploading basically every day and doing all these live streams and, you know, interacting with the people that support me. I want this to work and I'm going to make it work. You know, it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind, but you have to shift out of that instant gratification mode and seek that over the long term you know be patient be disciplined take inspired action every single day towards your goals and towards your dreams and you'd be surprised at how much progress you can make over the course of a month or two months or a year you know if i've managed to do this on four months i can only imagine where i'm going to be at this time next year so you know hopefully this video is able to clear up you know, some of the differences between semen retention and nofap because I feel like a lot of people get that confused. And like I said, they use them interchangeably when they're really not supposed to be used interchangeably. Personally, what I would recommend you do is do nofap, like make that a lifestyle. Like don't even bother counting your days on nofap, but do semen retention for 90 days. Do semen retention for the first 90 days of your nofap journey. And that should give you that reboot that a lot of people look for. After that, I'm not saying that you have to like go and find a random girl to have sex with on the 91st day, 
But after that, you know, be open to having sex. You know, it, it's natural. It's not something that should be avoided. I don't believe in hookup culture. I don't believe in casual sex. I believe that sex should be used for either reproduction or for cultivating a relationship with somebody that you're trying to cultivate a relationship with. It's an exchange of energy. It's more than just physical. So only have sex with a girl that, you know, you see as high value because in doing this, in getting on this self-improvement journey, you are a high value man and you deserve a high value woman or men, you know, if that's, if you swing that way. But you know, that's just my personal recommendation. You can do whatever you want to do. I really don't care, but just try it.